you know, we were talking about video and uh, actually collaboration as the mm -hmm. top line story. And through that, we were talking about the power of video that's really enabling the collaborative nature. That's right. Uh, so why don't you talk to us a little bit about what you're going to show us now? Yeah. So, you know, uh, telepresence technology is great, but not everybody has a telepresence room. And here at yet, Cisco, yet. yet, right. <laughs> but even here at Cisco, we have several hundred telepresence rooms, and you can't always get into one because it's just so popular. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to show you one of our new phone products, which okay. actually is video enabled. Uh, this is our uh, 9951 phone. Okay. And um, the great thing about this is it's more than just a phone. Um, you can do video calls, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let's call Michael okay. and Eris back right now. So. So we'll just go on speaker. Hey, and there's Michael. Hey, guys, how are you? Great. Hey, welcome back. You're on our you're on our video phone now. That is awesome. Hi, Michael. How are you? Oh, we're doing good, Carlos, and you? Doing well, man. Yep. You look you look good here too. Not only not only in the big screen and this screen, you look fabulous. So, is this high definition too? This is not high definition yet, but okay. it will be. That's something we're working on. But the one thing I wanted to point out. So, if you noticed, I just made a phone call, just like I do with any other regular phone. Right. I just typed in the numbers, and rather than getting an audio call, we got video. Okay. automatically. And uh, I'll tell you a story about that because um, several months ago when we were working on the design for this, we had a lot of debate on the design team about video. Should we enable it automatically? You know, some people may not feel comfortable being on video, but, you know, we, we thought, you know, video is the future. We've been saying that at Cisco right, here for a while. Right. Um, it's a video phone. It's got a video camera on it. So we made the decision that if you call, make a call on this phone and both ends have video, we're automatically going to go to video. And so we made that decision, went away. Uh, a couple months, we got some of the first video camera prototypes, and about 30 of us started trying these out. So we plugged them into our phones. And I remember the first time <laughs> I made a call, and all of a sudden I was calling somebody who also happened to have a video camera, and he just popped up on video. And I was surprised, but it was so cool to see that happening automatically. And I'll tell you, it really changes the nature and the quality of the conversations that you're having. Um, so you can see the person, you can see their gestures, you can see their facial expressions, you get real-time feedback uh, as you're talking to them. So it's not like when we're having an audio call and I say something and then I have to wait for you to say something back to know how you're reacting to that. I can see that in real time. Well, it keeps you, it keeps you engaged. The visual connection keeps you engaged because, I mean, how many times are you on a call that you know the other person? I know you would never do this, but they're, <laughs> but they're typing. Check, or they're checking their email. Or they're doing email, email yeah, or they're right. doing something else, that's right? right. And, yep. and, you know, they're multitasking, but they're really losing the gist of the communications. And I see that uh, happening more and more. So this yep. really kind of keeps you engaged in the conversation. The, the other question I had for you is I only see a power cord kind of like leaving here. Mm -hmm. So talk to me a little bit about the connectivity. Is there, Do you require an Ethernet on it or are there options on yeah, it? Yeah, so this one is actually powered by Ethernet, so okay. like all of our other IP phones. However, we do have a model that is uh, wireless. So um, you, uh, you can take it with you anywhere, and you've got anywhere you have Internet connectivity, you can make phone calls over the Internet. Well, that's really cool because between the telepresence and this and all the other products that we've got is, I mean, it's really enabling video to happen more and more. It is, and it's, it's really the direction that we're going at Cisco is, is going to multi, what I call multi-sensory interfaces where you're not only hearing the person, you're seeing them, and you're interacting with them in a much richer manner. Well, that's fantastic. So you were also talking to me about, um, you know, how this telephone also with the screen and our technology with visual voicemail, how it's changing the way we kind of do other types of communications. Can you show us that? Yeah, I want to show you something else. So, okay. so Carlos, um, Michael, I think we're going to say, say goodbye to you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming by guys. again. Michael, right. if you get bored, we'll call you on the TP later and get you to sing or something. So work on that song. You bet. <laughs> See ya. All right. Thanks, Michael. So, so Carlos, uh, would you believe I can put this phone in my pocket? No. You won't, don't believe that? Well, unless you've got a big pocket there, Cordell. Okay, well, I'm going to show you how I can actually take all of the functionality on this phone and take it with me. Okay. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to show you visual voicemail. So um, okay. we can see that uh, we've got a, a, voice, a new voice message waiting for us. So let's okay. go into visual voicemail. And we just go down to a couple screens. And uh, what we'll see here, you know, normally when um, you access your voicemail, you right. get... Uh, audio prompt that says you have so many messages right. waiting for you, and you kind of have to go through those in sequence, you know, right. one after another. Right. Um, what we have, and this is coming up right now, is uh, we're actually, we'll show you 
um, an error screen, <laughs> but what you would normally see yeah. is a list of all of your voice messages, and then you could access any one of those sequentially. So, so bottom line is, instead of saying you've got 24 messages and listening to them one at a time, I actually now have a visual representation where if John Chambers is down the line, you know, mm -hmm. and it's marked urgent, I probably should listen to that That's one right. first. That's right. But, you know, this is actually great that this didn't work because even though it doesn't work on my desk phone, I've got my iPhone here. Oh, and so that's your pocket you, Let me show you okay, how I, I get all now. the functionality on my desk phone okay. onto this. So uh, let's uh, open this up. And um, what you'll see here is uh, there's an application um, called Cisco Mobile. Okay. And you notice that there's a message waiting indicator right there. Yeah. So that's showing the same message, the same new message that is showing on your phone. And if we okay. go into this, uh, as this launches, we'll see all of your voice messages right here. Now, these are the voice messages that are associated with your corporate voicemail account, uh, the same messages that you would see from your desk phone. And it gets even better than that. So not only can I access my voice messages from my iPhone, but I can make calls from my iPhone, and it'll look like it's going out my office phone. Calls to this number will come here to my iPhone. So I can basically take this with me so It's anywhere. your IP phone. It's my IP phone right is in my pocket. Is what you're saying. Well, that's really, really cool. And, and again, you know, taking the whole unified communications and the presence and everything else and being able to, you know, get video on the phone, be able to check your voicemails and having the portability of having it here with you really is making all the difference. And again, those are, you know, the whole notion of collaboration. It's really about all of these tools that are enabling that to happen. So, Karen, what I'd like to do is, is find out, are there any questions uh, that have come in? If not, uh, we'll continue to demo some other stuff. Yeah, I'll actually do a little do -si do here with, with Cordell, okay. if you don't mind. Um, and the it, questions it, could be for Cordell, too. Don't, yeah, no, okay. don't leave Cordell <laughs> out. I Sorry, mean, Cordell. Cordell, Cordell's got a lot happening here. <laughs> Um, yes, we actually have been getting a lot of questions, and I'll just move okay. my uh, my screen over here a little bit. Sure. Um, this is one that came into us uh, via email. Uh, what new collaboration tools is Cisco exploring for the future? Okay, that's a great question. Well, you know, we've got a number of uh, collaboration tools, whether it's technology that's video, like what we're doing with TP. And what we're doing is not only taking and building new technologies, which I'll mention in a moment, but expanding you know, the types of technologies that we've got here now. As you know, we've published something called uh, Show and Share, right, it, which now is really, really cool. One of, one of the challenges with video in any uh, JPEG image is that, uh, you know, you c it's very hard to uh, put meta tagging on it. So one of the things we're doing now with our Show and Share is you can get a video stream that you, up, you, know, you upload into our, our server, and what it does is separates the video and the audio, and it automatically transcribes the uh, the con the text that's there, right? Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden you're doing auto tagging of video, but where it comes very very powerful. If you look at the transcript and you type in, for example, telepresence, mm -hmm. it now shows you hash marks on the video where that word is said. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you know it becomes very very powerful, and, and it really solves a problem where if you miss a meeting and you want to know what happened, right? Because we can't always be in every single meeting. Sure. This is a way of really doing an extension. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got a lot of technologies, like, for example, with uh, WebEx, uh, which, you know, we do a lot of online meetings. Sure. Boy, they're up to, I forgot what the number was, but uh, speaking with uh, the head of WebEx yesterday, she said they're up to, uh, like, 8 million minutes a day or some really, much more than that. I'm, I'm, I'm not even giving it justice. And, and you and I are on a, a lot of we're, those meetings. We're on, we're on, on it all the time. <laughs> we're on it all the time. But they're building tools to facilitate how the outcomes of meeting happen better, right? Because, you know, you, as you well know, and I do this all the time, I attend a lot of meetings, and the quality of the meetings aren't always the same. Mm -hmm. A lot depends on the facilitator, the person putting the meeting together, how well prepped they are, are they distributing the information and the mm -hmm. content, have you had a chance to think about it, does everyone have an equal voice in it, you know, and getting everyone engaged. So what I think uh, WebEx is going to start doing into the future is, trying to uh, optimize the ways meetings are held by helping the facilitator uh, reach their outcomes. And I think when you marry the technology with process, uh, it's really killer. Mm -hmm. you know, so those are things that uh, you know, we're doing. And then the collaboration space uh, towards the future is not going to stop in business. It's going to work its way into the home. Um, you know, I can see us uh, delivering products that are video quality in nature mm -hmm. uh, moving into the home. And once you do that, boy, the experience of collaborative technology and video in the home will really change the landscape.